It's that time of year where the NCAA does the big countdown to the Final Four. And this year, it's in Phoenix, Arizona, with roughly 20 months to prepare for an invasion of up to 150,000 visitors that will generate over $275 million in revenue. Here's a list of what it takes to turn a football stadium into a basketball arena. First up, court is in session. Normally home to the Arizona Cardinals football team, the University of Phoenix Stadium is the only stadium in North America with a fully retractable natural grass field. It takes about 10 days and a year's worth of planning to take the tray out, to build the colonnade seating that'll come down to the floor, to rig a center-hung scoreboard. Here's the thing, the stadium doesn't just have a basketball court sitting around. So they have to have one custom made for this event. We start our mill process for these courts around the start of November. So roughly November 1st um, until today we're installing it. It's kind of the overall timeline from you know, tree to installation. So we're around roughly, I think, 450 panels on this floor. Each panel weighs about 175, 180 pounds. I think we are around 20 tons. But after the game-winning shot, they don't just toss the court into the dumpster. So the winner gets an opportunity to purchase for if they want, and uh, some have turned into, you know, their actual playing court. They've cut it up and sold pieces off for fundraising. If they don't buy it, then we'll sand it and we'll reuse it for next year. Next, raise the roof. The stadium also has a translucent retractable roof that makes hanging a traditional scoreboard a little tricky. The scoreboard's about 80 foot in diameter. The top of it's about 90 feet in the air and took about, about a week to put it in. I had guys on each one of these beams walking the beams and we were pulling up cables to install motors that pick, to pick this up. And finally, it takes hundreds of people to work an event like this, but with 150,000 fans visiting, the city could use some helping hands. We recruited um, about 3,300 volunteers. There'll be welcome centers in 31 hotels. There'll just be information desks. And so 3,300 volunteers will be spread out across the valley, helping fans get to where they need to be. No bricks or air balls here, just the sweet sound of March Madness on the lowdown.